Hello, welcome everybody. I'm Francisco Navarrete from AppliTalk. Thank you very much to VCs for this opportunity to talk about our survey software based on Briska Civil API. Let's start talking a little bit about AppliTalk. Our company is specialized in the development of solutions for surveying and civil engineering. We have more than 30 years experience and we are Briska developers since 2006. We have more than 18,000 users all over the world. And among the advantages of uh, our applications are competitive prices. You can choose permanent or annual licenses. And also our applications are very easy to learn and we provide high quality technical support. We have developed four product categories, field software, that is, um, for Android and Windows Mobile, you can install the application in, in a smartphone or tablet and connect uh, with any GPS, for instance, like a Geosystem GPS, and perform data collection and stakeouts. Second family is for surveying projects. You will see uh, the demonstration later. It is based on CAD. Uh, it is installed as applying on MCAT. Third product family is for point cloud. We have an application uh, especially for management of point clouds coming from LiDAR, laser scanner, or photogrammetry. And we have also another application for stereo restitution. And the last uh, product family is Thanos. We have special applications for uh, the construction site and the office for uh, processing uh, tunnel data uh, data analysis. Applitop is also a very innovative company. We have participated in several research and development projects uh, about uh, virtual and augmented reality applied to construction, being for infrastructures, and for, for instance, we, we have participated in the development of ISC alignment and ISC formats, uh, working together with Builder Smart International. And also, we are working with different universities. We have a wide variety of customers, for instance, government, both local, regional, and national government, big construction companies, engineering, architecture, mining, transportation, utilities, etc. Uh, of course, independent professionals, surveyors, uh, engineers, and more. You can find several case studies in our website, but just to mention a few of them, we have from motorways in New Zealand or United States, trains in Canada, tunnels in Brazil, Norway, or Turkey, solar models in Sweden, and many more. You can check them in, in our website. We have also an extensive dealer network. We have two types of dealers. One is surveying instrument resellers. Of course, many dealers of Lake Geo Systems are also our dealers, and CAD resellers. Yeah. Of course, many BlizzCAD dealers are also our dealers. And now uh, it's an introduction of us, uh, our software that we'll see later the demonstration. TCP MDT installs on a BlizzCAD, BlizzCAD Pro, and it's an all in one solution for surveying and serial engineering projects. You can choose between two versions. The standard version, you can manage uh, topographic points, survey points, you can build a detailed terrain model, generate contour lines get uh, profiles and cross section, perform volume calculation, maps, uh, utilities for plots, uh, export to IFC, etc. The professional version, you can also design horizontal and vertical alignments. You can de define road templates uh, and different layers. It, it has commands for grading and errors. You can create the, the proposed ground and it can generate reports for quantity takeoff and stakeouts. 
It has also tools for virtual tours and creating animations and videos. Also, it can manage Pipe networks and it has uh, features for open bin integration using IFC, BCF, and LAN XML files. These are the, the versions, and also you have you can choose optional modules. The surveying module you can process total station observation, compensate transverse and networks, and perform coordinate transformation and use geodesic calculator. And with image, you can reference image, adjust and distort using control points, can also insert pictures with location data and use webmap services. Now let's show the demonstration using our software TCP and detail installed all on Biscat Pro. I hope you enjoy. This is the main driver of the software. We are going to start importing a point coordinate file with data collected by a GNSS receiver. You can choose different file formats and options. We select the scale that is only for the size of text. Choose the file as you can see that the drawing has been automatically created. This is because of a the point code database in which we can link this code uh, to the representation. For instance, we can choose to uh, insert a block, as you can see, place it on one point, two points, or three points, a line, or even a, a, an area, a, a volume or a hatch. You can see the blocks has been automatically inserted in the ratio, and we can list now the how many points that we have in the drawing. The main data are shown, and the, the coding noise are good, and then we will control the attributes with GPS observations, yeah, accuracy of every point, etc. Then we can edit. So, button to check um, is data, the basic data, observation data. As you can see, and even the attributes, and we can link to uh, a picture or any document. We have also a tool uh, that allows you to directly select the point and show uh, the, the picture or the document attached. Now we are going to create a surface and we are regular network using points. We enable the surface ribbon. Create surface, choose the name of a new file, and select which elements we are going to use. Points and block lines. Block lines are selected automatically because of the point calls. And we can select also boundary line graphically. Now we press OK, and the triangulation is done. As you can see, it's a, it's a block. And we can determine now the global shows of any points I include even the accuracy of all words without uh, in the triangulation. And also we can get a weak profile as you have seen. This is a, a surface, a brisk brisk surface, a brisk steel surface, and we can use the tools providing when we cut seeing. Uh, for instance, we can uh, enable elevations. Let's turn the uh, visual style to realistic to see uh, the, the colors and uh, the color scheme. And we can activate the contours. This is a dollar flat terrain, uh, so we can select the, the distance 20 centimeters uh, between the main contours and uh, one meter for middle contours. You can see here. And now we are going to insert an image based on webmap service. We select from the catalog, we select a webmap service, 
for all the ways. And now we, we need to define the project. You know. We say on the country and choose you know, the, the projections provided for this country. And now the, the number and probably for many service. Now the, the image has been inserted in the rowing as uh, the rowing score of age. And now the rowing is what we discuss civil tool for assigning and noise the tool triangulation. It's done. Now we, we can hold the image and assign uh, the chain by representation so that we can see the image assigned a, a texture to the triangulation. You can see. Now we can change the visualization, the, the view for a 3D view, so that we can see the, the terrain in 3D view with the texture. Now we are going to define another thing to go down and cross sections. We can do this in several ways, but in this case, we are going to use Civil alignment. We yeah. enable the scene Rhino and use the alignment tool. And we are going to select the vertices. It's done. And now we are going to use our options for horizontal alignment and check that the yeah. MLT can understand the discuss alignment. You can see the elements like arcs and glottoids. And we can use this alignment to go long and cross sections. We can select this tool for annotation. So then you can see the start and end of the, each of the elements of the alignment. And again, we can spawn this to a file because we will need this later. Now, we enable the long section, so we know, and create a long section. First, we sell our volume, and that's all, press OK. And draw, now draw the, the long section. We can select multiple options for representation. In this case, we'll use the platform option. And you can see the terrain and uh, the numerical data. You can customize levels, levels, and uh, colors, etc. Then we'll do the same for getting or getting cross sectors. We select the only. We send a, a 20 centimeters yeah. and left and right and a one cross section every 10 meters. Okay. And then we draw. In this case, in continuous mode, we would select also a standard a paper size. It's done. In the same mode, you can customize everything about the representation. And now the profiles are interactive. So we, if you will change the alignment or the surface, the profiles are automatically recalculated and, and they're down. And you're asking. Now we're going to sell the drawing and continue the demonstration. Or you have seen is based on the standard version of MLT, and now we are learning to work with the professional version that is designed mainly for roles and other options. We can design first uh, the optical alignment, uh, drawing, simple drawing on the long section. There are several options. Because so we could import a neighbor C file, a lang XML file, or simply draw a polymer on the long section and convert 
to a radical alignment. We can add a vertical group with different criteria. For example, we can give the tangles, the arrow of the parameter of the parabola. And that's all. If we have the vertical opening. We are going to export this to a, a file. We use load from the road. And now we're going to uh, to define the template, the resection of the rows. As well, this course has been previously in the final. As you can select uh, with an option, you can see here in, in tabs, platforms, the ditching, the cool and filling slopes, then roadways. Your uh, means you can select uh, even more road marks, and you can define all elements of the road. And then we have all elements. We are going to, to create a row of sign that is composed on several elements. We have known in the same way, example one. So we have, yes, uh, we can auto create select all elements with a single button. And that's all. Uh, we have defined all the elements uh, for the row. We can close this button and check the, the road has been defined. You can see in real time the uh, top view and profile view. And once in the final, we can, for instance, we can go to an array among the report, like said, simply select the find and the four options, you can load at the time and go port by station and volumes and also that and full hours and volumes. You can export print and export this to different formats. And for instance, we can draw the product cross options. In this case, let's send it uh, being a one um, sheet size and draw in paper space for the cross sections of our rope. As I have said before, uh, you can customize or parameters or about the drawing and representation. Now we are going to both the proposed terrain after the execution of the code for modifying the surface. The angulation is going to be modified and will go to an insert phase with the proposed terrain. And finally, we can simulate a angulation along the road with all elements. Here is the viewer with the terrain in the road with many controls so that you can represent in 3D with the realm, the road, and even you would insert also upwards, etc. Well, I expect that you have enjoyed this demonstration. Now I'm going to play a very short video with a summary of our products and many of them compatible with this card.
Now you can visit our website where you can find information about our products. You can download a trial version and also you can contact with our dealers. That's all. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, we expect uh, to be in contact with you. Thank you.